Hello, Internet. Look at that block of wood. Thanks again, Cody. Just looks nice in the middle of the frame, right, while we get things ready. Sure does. What are we looking at today? Da -da -da -da. GLM Tech. Oh, oh, pretty generous size tin, I'll be honest. If you guys are into survival or anything like that, <laughs> you can put a lot of tin this size. Oh, look at that. A little card of authenticity. Oh, and a sticker. Sweet. It comes in nice. This is some really heavy duty dense foam too. Nice foam. Solid packaging. Uh, bumping the camera already. Not very professional there, Tim. Geometrics machine by GLM Tech, designed by Zhang Wunan. I think that's how you pronounce it. Apologize if it's not. Um, 303 stainless steel machine finish. Oh, that kind of fits there nice, huh? Let's see what's in the pouch. This is a nice pouch, too. It's like a suede kind of nice little texture. Nice little pouch. Um, way too big, I think, for a spinner. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with all these pouches. It's nice to have these to put, I don't know, certain things in. I don't know what I'll end up putting in it, but... Oh, Carver's Customs, y'all. Oh. Octo pouch. Oh, look at her. She's a bit of a looker, ain't she? Ooh, we just jump right into spinner. Let's take a look at this. Now, I want to do this video inside because you really need to see how this thing spins in the light. Um, and I've made that mistake with some other spinners before where sometimes it's nice seeing them outside in bright sunlight and seeing them warping. But uh, some spinners we just need to see inside in the in the inside light. Hang on. A little bit of dust on there. I was trying to trying to keep it nice and clean. So let's take a look. She's she's first and foremost. She's a looker. We gotta take the buttons off. Now one thing I like about this spinner is um, these guys are very open about the fact that this is a press fit. It's not glued, so all you need is a bearing removal tool. Um, I haven't really played around with this. I don't know how well this will work because it's kind of recessed down a little bit, so it's not going to tighten it all the way in. You'll probably need like a washer or something to fit around that so that it doesn't kind of leave the spinner sticking up a little too high. You see what I'm saying? Like, you got to fill in that little gap. Um, but anyway, that's just a nice bearing removal tool. That's the idea. Um, so I haven't really switched out the bearing, and we're probably going to need to put in an edit um, down below here uh, because I did some spin times, but I recorded them on my computer at work and didn't my, bring my computer from home, so I forget what I saved. Um, so we'll put the updates. <sighs> Mother of Lord. Um put the updates down below, but I believe we're talking six minutes, uh, about 6.30, somewhere in that neighborhood on a, on a vertical spin, and uh, four and a half minutes on a table spin, somewhere in that range. So we'll update them with the real numbers down below. But anyway, um, I just saw the bearing and thought spin times. I didn't want to forget to tell y'all. So the machining on this guy, though, we're, we're definitely going to have to pull this out and bring this in to compare because there's certainly some comparisons that can be made that are kind of obvious and then obviously a lot of differences. The main difference is the silhouette. The main similarities are the, are the machining. So we'll, we'll get that out of the way. We might bring it back in. Uh, but the machining on this is really, really nice. Um, now, a couple things like around the middle of the spinner that are kind of hidden by the buttons. You can see some of the machining swirls. Now, I don't know the technique exactly that happens with milling to get essentially, just because it's a little easier to see, that little reflective pattern without seeing the actual machine swirls like you're seeing here. But um, that is essentially that machine finish, but there's a way where you, you get it really, I'm assuming just really fine or moving really slow. Uh, I don't know what the specifics are to get that, that type of machine look, uh, but it's done really well. And look at all, look at how shiny and good she is for a machine finish. So this is just an excellent machine finish, an excellent design, an excellent look. And you know, I've done this with some other spinners, so we're gonna do it here. We're gonna do that little nail test. See, it just shaves stuff off your nail. Now that said, um, really not much of a hot spot issue on this one. So unlike the Thrax, which was actually literally cutting my skin, you know, I wasn't like bleeding or anything like dramatic like that, but um, you know, this doesn't really have that issue. Um, so we got some, we got some decent buttons on here too. So these are some of their newer buttons. Uh, I believe they had older style buttons that look like, oh, where'd I put them? Uh, look sort of like this which when we talk about the trimetrics, we'll get them out. So these are sort of like some of the other buttons, uh, other style buttons I've seen on these. And I don't know what, what the difference in different runs or when that came in, but um, pretty decent little buttons here. They, they, they're they kind of a very unique 
um, simple kind of cutout, um, and they provide plenty of grip. They're just a subtle little dish, not too bad. Um, good spin. So let's uh, let's weigh this too, because that's going to come into play here. Turn you on. Mm, you're not going to see that. Are you going to see it? Yeah, you'll see it a little bit. Fifty-five point eight. So fifty-five point eight, pretty light, pretty pretty good, pretty right in like that fidgeting. Um, uh, fidgeting range with this guy so it's it's because it's got that press fit bearing the body can be real thin and it doesn't play any games with a with a bearing like trying to you know when we looked at the torque bar for example um, or something like the arachnophobia where you've got sort of like the bearing retainer is a little taller uh, and then the body gets thinner we'll actually see that on the trimetrics too when we get to that um, we're not going to do it in this video that'll be a separate video um, but it feels really nice, thin, light, and fast. I'm really, really digging this guy, y'all. Um, it just is really responsive, really fast, looks good. So one of the reasons I wanted to do this inside is so that you could see all the kind of different machining. Let's see if I can get this in a good light so that we can see that. Uh, but you get like these really interesting like little patterns the way the light plays. And as you move it across, you know, as you kind of turn it on its axis, some of those little reflections will switch back and forth. I actually might have too much, too much light going on here. Let's turn these off for a second and see if we can, it's looking kind of dark, y'all. Yeah, we're not really getting it. That's all right. We'll turn it back on. Uh, but it, it does some really good dancing in the light. What if I move you down? I really want to show you. Yeah, okay, see that? You get this really cool, like, as the reflections cross each other. Um, because essentially you've got, like, as I turn it, right, you see all these different reflections. They kind of play with each other kind of differently. It's also interesting that these are really big curves, and there's a couple spots where it gets a little wider. But when you spin it, you actually get a couple of concentric circles, despite having a lot of angles uh, to the cuts. So... Uh, it's pretty neat. It's a pretty interesting design. I really, uh, you know, I don't know how much of this is exactly what um, they intended um, versus, you know, kind of they they got lucky with it. Um, I, I imagine that they did some, obviously, testing and prototyping and knew what they had. But again, I don't know how much of it, you know, they, they once they made it, they, they figured it out. Because it's like there's all these little angles that look like they, like, look at this. Like, you would think that that would be like an incredible hotspot, but it's just, it's not. It just isn't. Um, or right here, like, hey, this is going to be a hot spot, and it just isn't, despite being a, a sharp enough angle to, on pretty much anywhere, you drag your nail across it, like, it's enough to, to, to shave your, your nail, it's not, not a hot spot, the, the flicks, the poles, the, it's light enough to be fidgetable, so uh, you can interrupt it mid-spin, um, I am kind of wearing out this nail, like, fidgeting with this thing, um, but it's not, nothing's like actually getting getting hurt or anything like that. It's really just when I'm doing really hard flicking with it, I'm noticing it's hitting that. But it's not actually like, nothing's hurting. Um, I think if I were really jamming on preloaded flicks on this all day, I would start to feel a little bit. Um, but that just really hasn't been the case yet. So I'm pretty surprised. So this is a first look, you know, 24 hour type situation. But I haven't, I've had a hard time putting this thing down since I got it. Um, uh, really, really enjoying it. The form factor of this guy, so it's in this little, I mean, I think that's the biggest thing you know, that we can take away from the big difference. I think when this first came out, there were some initial impressions on the machining finish. Like, I don't think anybody was calling it like a portal clone or anything like that. Mm, she's good too. Do we get to show this inside? Yeah, this is actually doing it much better. See how those little swirls are turning? You get a lot of that similar effect with this in the right light. It's just, I guess, whatever light setup I've got here, it's not really picking it up, so... Um, but the the form of this guy, it's it reminds me of the hummingbird in a lot of ways. And this, well, I guess it's kind of got the similar kind of curves. But even though it's um, asymmetrical, right? You've got a swoop here, and then a flat side here, and then a swoop here, and a flat side here. It doesn't really matter. I can't tell a big difference in terms of fidgeting with it. Which way I've got it? Like if I were to close my eyes, yeah, it doesn't really feel feel any different. So it's got one flat side, it's got one curved side, but those flats give you, you know, with the big old chamfers it's got on a good purchase to do a preloaded flick. Push out. One thing this guy does do better than the portal, um, just since we're kind of talking about him, the portal's got these big flat surfaces, which sometimes can be hard to get a, a grip on. Like if you grab it right in the middle of the face and try to get a, uh, a preloaded flick, sometimes your finger just doesn't really grab it well. Um, where this doesn't have that problem because you've got so many steps and cuts here. It looks good. 
So these are around, I want to say 55 to 65 bucks on um, Spinetic, depending on what version you're looking for. And I think they've been on like listed as a sale on like five or 10 bucks off for a while. So I don't know if that's still going on or you can apply a coupon code to it or when the sale goes off and you can apply a coupon code to it, but you can find them out there. So, uh, but they're good, they're good spinners. Um, they're solid. I'd had my eye on one for a while and just kind of wasn't in the spinner budget for a while and finally got around to um, to picking one of these guys up and uh, yeah, really glad that I did. So I'm um, not sure what else we can say about this. I think we might just about be there. Now, it's funny, whenever I go to edit my reviews, I feel like I always say that and then end up talking for like another two minutes and here's another example of where I <laughs> said that and then I had something to talk about. But um, really dream... Pretty, pretty, pretty dreamy to, to fidget with, to play with. So, oh yeah, here's the obvious thing that we need to talk about. Um, the uh, cons, like I, I told you I was going to try to find cons. Uh, and then I also said that, um, you know, I want to kind of tell you whether or not I can recommend that you buy this. So cons wise, you know, especially when you get spoiled by something like a portal, um, when you see that really perfect machining. Now, again, they didn't have any machining hotspot edges like the Thrax did. Um, but when you look at the finish on this, there's a couple spots where it's just not like a perfect finish. Like see the 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 swirls and stuff going on here. Now, which side is it? Yeah, see these brush marks that kind of don't go all the way across. And because it looks so good, there's one that's, uh, yeah, is it this one here? Yeah, see these little brush marks kind of, or swirl marks along the side? Like, there's just some little machining inconsistencies, and especially under the buttons, you see it a little bit more. I, I don't think I really highlighted that when I had the buttons off. <clears throat> Come on, button. Um, you can see some of that. Now, most of it's hidden by the buttons, but there's just some inconsistencies in the machining finish. So, again, for the price range that it's at, for being press fit and as good as it looks, and um, uh, I think that that's, I think they're probably right on. I think you could get them, you know, the, if, yeah, there's another good example, right? Just like that little, like those little swirls in there. Uh, but it doesn't take too much away from the spinner, and when you're spinning it and looking at that reflection, um, you're fine, you're good to go, so... Um, can I recommend that you buy it? This is definitely on my um, on my list. This is definitely one I can recommend. Two thumbs up um, that you can check out. Um, it's light, so it's going to be light or lightweight for most people. I think if you have really sensitive fingers, these could be hot spots. I'm going to be honest. I know I've said my fingers are pretty tough. Um, I don't think that that's a big hot spot issue. But if you're doing preloaded flicks, um, you could have a bit of an issue with this. But um, it's a pretty light spinner. It's pretty forgiving for a bar. It's pretty wide with some good chamfers. Um, so it's it's pretty easy to catch and miss. If you remember my Valkyrie video, um, which I'm probably going to be releasing this the day after the Valkyrie video. Um, you know, I mentioned like it's just it's not always there. And this is this is where where you want it. It's responsive. It's not too big. It's not too heavy. Um, so it, it can fit probably for most people. So as long as you like a, a bar. The Judder J-U-D-D-R is not uh, too bad on this guy. It's certainly there, but it's a bar. That's what we can expect. Tighten those buttons back up. Um, yeah, good. Oh, and also, balance-wise, y'all, she's pretty good. So, good balance. Not a lot of wobble. So, feels smooth in the hand there. Look at her go. Dead smooth, just my hand moving. So that is the Geometrics by GLM Tech. Hobby to me approved. Get yourself some. Kisses, Internet.